Imagine being a 19-year-old singer at the MTV Video Music Awards, about to accept the award for Video of the Year, only to have your moment stolen by a fellow artist. This is where our story begins. Back in 2009, when Kanye West grabbed the microphone from Taylor Swift to proclaim that Beyonce should have won the award instead. An act that would ignite a feud spanning over a decade. Fast forward to 2016, when the feud took another dramatic turn following the leak of a phone call between Swift and West, leading to a public dispute involving West's then-wife, Kim Kardashian. This infamous incident, coupled with the ongoing public vitriol, deeply affected Swift, who then took a step back from the public eye. In 2017, Swift re-emerged with her album Reputation and a fiery single Look What You Made Me Do which many perceived as a scathing response to the fallout with so West remember, and Kardashian. Swift's career, which began in 2005 when she signed with Big Machine sure Records, had been marked by met. crossover successes well, with singles now. like Teardrops on My Guitar, Love Jenner Story, pimping, and You Belong With Me. Diddy. But so, this feud exactly had led her down a darker, this? more introspective well, path. Fast forward to 2024, Swift released a new album, The Tortured Poets Department, which includes a song Beyonce titled Thank You, Amy. Fans believe this song is a direct Kanye reference to her Jay feud with Kardashian However, and West, with lyrics hinting at bullying and the impact it had on her reputation and mental health. Swift's perspective on the situation is clear, with references to Kardashian as a high school bully and specific events such as Northwest dancing to her music. Despite their history, West has tried and failed to reignite public feuds, not only with Swift, but also with his ex-wife Kardashian and pop star Billie Eilish. His attempts have only drawn criticism and comparisons to past feuds, notably with Swift. To summarize, the feud between Swift, West, and Kardashian, which began in 2009, has had a significant impact on their careers and personal lives. It has fueled right Swift's music, most notably in her album's well, Reputation and up. The Tortured Poets Department. Later in the event, However, Kanye the feud has also led to criticism and controversy, with West's attempts to reignite the feud met with disapproval. Despite everything, Swift seems to have found a way to channel her experiences into her music creating a narrative that continues to captivate her fans. And so, we're left with more questions than answers. How will this feud evolve? Will there be reconciliation, or will it continue to be a source of inspiration for their creative outputs? Only time will tell. For now, we can only watch, listen, and wait. Maybe the wasn't a strategic move after all. Perhaps it was just another tactic in Chris's ongoing effort to secure her family's place in the spotlight. Now, Kanye West and Diddy two big names in music had a very public falling out in 2022. Things got heated when Kanye made a surprising claim during an interview. He said Diddy, the famous rapper and record producer, might be working with law enforcement. I don't got no celebrity friends because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is and a Kardashian's kidnapped my daughter in public and I didn't have the address of my child, None of these niggas that want to say something. Kanye even accused Diddy of blackmailing people to stay out of trouble. So it does seem that Kanye knows what he's saying. This wasn't the only sign of trouble, though. Later that year, at another big music concert, Kanye reportedly avoided Diddy completely. He even went online and shared text messages where he called Diddy a fed, which you all know what it means. Interestingly, not long after this, Diddy's houses were searched by authorities. They were looking into serious allegations of human trafficking. This whole situation seemed suspicious, and it added more fuel to the fire between Kanye and Diddy. Another twist came from comedian Cat Williams. He said he believed Diddy was hiding some bad things, and that everyone would find out about them in 2024. I want you tell No, I want you to tell You really are the best. You're proving it here today. As much as I'm proving it, you're proving it. You proved the um, journey of Yeah, that Swift wasn't the thing. It was Kelsey. Cat even claimed he As had proof and wouldn't be afraid to expose Diddy, Rowling. no matter how famous Navigating he is. So what's the real story? Did Diddy work with law enforcement? Spectacle. Did he use blackmail? Did the raid on his house have anything to do with Kanye's accusations? The These are all some pretty interesting Love questions, it. but it's Charlotte important to remember that no one has proven any of these claims. Well, things are getting even messier now. There are a lot of accusations flying around, but no clear answers. But for this one, at least we can connect the dots. Let's not forget that Kim even unfollowed Diddy just a day before his raid, which speaks volumes, don't you think? But how exactly did Kris Jenner and Diddy meet? 
For years, whispers have moved around Hollywood about the connection between Kris Jenner, the Kardashian-Jenner family manager, and Diddy, the music mogul. Most of these rumors have actually been dismissed for not having enough evidence. But recently, things took a dramatic turn. Grainy video footage unearthed by the FBI has cast a long shadow over these long-standing rumors, forcing everyone to re-evaluate the nature of their relationship and its potential impact on the Kardashian empire's origins. Diddy's influence on the entertainment industry is undeniable. He's not just a rapper and music producer, but a savvy entrepreneur who's left his mark on fashion, business ventures, and even cultural trends. Kris Jenner, on the other hand, has become big and well-known for her strategic management and business-oriented mind. Both have navigated the treacherous waters of fame, fortune, and the complex dynamics of family life under the ever-watchful eye of the public. Hollywood, after all, is a relatively small world. Celebrities are constantly bumping into each other at industry events, award shows, and exclusive parties. Chris, in her role as a manager and promoter, would have inevitably crossed paths with Diddy and other influential figures at some point. Perhaps their initial interaction happened at a glamorous award ceremony, a high-profile industry mixer, or even a private gathering. What's undeniable is Kris Jenner's brilliance in managing her children's careers. Under her guidance, the Kardashian-Jenner brand has become a global phenomenon. Diddy's own empire-building journey, where he transformed fame into lucrative business opportunities, resonates with the Kardashian family's visions. This shared approach to leveraging fame for financial success might be another reason why Kris tried to pimp Kim K to Diddy. The newly discovered video footage, though unclear due to its age, has ignited a firestorm of speculation. While the exact nature of their interactions remains shrouded in mystery, the grainy images raise a lot of questions. Were Chris and Diddy simply colleagues navigating the cutthroat world of entertainment? Or was there something more personal going on? Well, maybe that doesn't matter now, because the truth is out, even evidenced by Kim K herself. If you don't already know, things have gotten pretty serious between Justin Bieber and Kim Kardashian. Remember how they used to meet up and take pictures together? Well, Justin is now suing Kim, and the reason behind it is shocking. It all started innocently enough. They met at a fancy White House dinner for journalists, and everything seemed normal. They took pictures and seemed friendly. But then, more pictures surfaced online, showing them getting closer hugs and other questioning contacts. The problem here is that Justin was only 16 at the time, and Kim was already 29. That big age difference makes things complicated. Now Justin is saying that Kim took advantage of him during those times. His lawsuit claims that she manipulated him for her own benefit. This is a pretty serious accusation in the pop world. If it's true, it could mean Kim might have broken the law. There are rules in place to protect young people, and if someone older takes advantage of them, it can be a crime. But here's another interesting twist. Justin isn't just suing Kim, he's also going after Diddy. Apparently Justin reports Diddy was also involved in this whole situation and that both Kim and Diddy used him when he was young. Justin even said that whatever Kim did to her was worse than what Diddy did. Now this statement by itself could take us to a whole new story, but let's focus. This situation shows a dark picture of the world of celebrities, especially the Kardashians. With all that is coming out, we all can be sure that you don't want to send your upcoming artist's son or daughter into this world. But you know what concludes Kanye's revelations in all this? Kris Jenner disappearing. Rumors have been swirling around Kris Jenner like a desert wind ever since a raid on Diddy's homes by federal authorities, a bombshell TikTok video posted by user at the rate it's that shark threw gasoline on the fire. According to the video, the feds may have stumbled upon evidence against Kris Jenner during the raid. This evidence, the video claims, could include incriminating video footage and suggests a potentially significant connection between Chris and all of whatever illegal activities Diddy might be involved in. The speculation doesn't stop there. The video and the lack of recent public appearances from Chris has fueled wild theories online. We can be convinced she's on the run, hiding from the law or seeking refuge somewhere far away. Now think of it, some news reports revealed that Kris Jenner was actually pimping Kim K to Diddy, 
And then right after everything is almost revealed, she disappears. It sort of tells us what we need to know already. But here's where things get interesting. Kris Jenner seems completely unfazed by the rumors. 